1988, Mike Tyson heads down to Harlem, NYC to Dapper Dance to get some fresh gear, to get an eight ball jacket, get himself some triple fat goose, get himself some boss gear, get himself some K-Swiss socks. Goes in, he bigs up his man who works there, and he turns around behind him, everybody gets quiet, and he sees Mitch Blood Green. They had fought earlier that year, and Mike Tyson beat him in a one-sided, 10-round unanimous decision. Mitch Blood Green, though, known for this, he is high as a kite. He's on angel dust, PCP, crack, maybe both. They big up each other real quick, but that Mitch Blood Green quickly gets up in Mike's personal space, as you can see here. And before you know it, words are exchanged, Mike gets up, and... Mike gives him a chance to back down, and next thing you know, Mitch is on the ground. People break it up, and the very next day, they both go to the airways, go to press. You see what happened to Mitch. He took a swelling on that eye, he took a lumping, and Mike Tyson also took a beating on his hand. He broke it clean. Uh, jeopardizing his fighting career both men came off for the worse in this one uh, however people always wonder what happened to Mitch Green big question did Mitch become a preacher did Mitch is did, did he die did he is he living in seclusion well here is Mitch Blood Green in 2023 I bumped into him he's not a preacher he, he, he is religious a little bit but he's not a preacher those allegations are false He's just chilling, living a quiet life. Here he is with Tim Witherspoon, my man Michael Elijah Day, and a few others. Mitch is looking good, definitely way calmer, and chilling.